states what is meant by work done. Hmm, gotta memorize your definitions, yeah? So the work done is force times displacement. The original one is actually a vector product, but we don't worry about that. That's we, we just stick to our physics definition. So we can say something along the lines of work done is the product of force and displacement. But to be safe, sometimes certain mark, year, mark, mark, years, mark scheme years will ask you to also include the direction. So if we want to use our usual FS, uh, product of force and displacement in the direction of the force. So that's a little extra detail here to add on to show that when we say FS, we assume that F and S is in the same direction or you have resolved the force or displacement to be in the same direction. Okay, so this is usually one mark. So now we use the answer above to show the SI base units of energy are kgm square S negative 2. So I think we'll just use the force displacement. Uh, use the equation. So work done is a energy uh, in joules, by the way, is force displacement. So let's find the units. So unit of energy force. Uh, Force is Newton, correct? Distance is meter, correct? But don't stop there. Newton can be broken down. Wow, they give us the answer again. So nice. So force equals to mass times acceleration. So we got to write that mass, acceleration, and M. So at the end of the day, this will give us a unit of energy, which is kg, m square, s negative 2. Joules is energy, yeah? so joules can be break down into this. So you can show substitution of the correct values here. I mean, correct, correct units for force and distance. That's one mark. More units. Let's keep going. A metal rod is heated at one end, so thermal energy flows out. Blah, 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 blah. If I see this base unit, I don't need to know the physics. Really. I just need to know what, what are these alphabets here. A is cross-section area of the rod. I'm going to write there, M square. T are temperatures. I'm going to write Kelvin as my temperature, not Celsius. Kelvin. L is the length of the rod, so meters. And C is a constant. E here is the energy one. So we can just take from this, which they give it to us. Energy is that, so we just write that. Kg m square s negative 2. This. All right, let's solve it up. So recommend if you want to prevent yourself getting confused, the first thing you should want to do is, so you get to, to deal with all the power, power later, you rearrange oh, to express for C. So I'm going to rearrange EL equals to CAT1 minus T2. Uh, not yet, need to do one more step. Okay, C equals to EL over A T1 minus T2 times time. Okay, we are ready to sub in the units. I think I'll do it on the right side here. So, hmm, units of C. We have energy on top. Uh, so I write kg m square s negative 2. Length is a meter. Mm, area is m square. What about this? T minus T. You put 1k. 2k. No la. When you minus two values, you don't just multiply their units together. So it's still k. K. And the last one, time. Seconds. So with all these, I think m and m cancel out. So we have kg m k negative 1 s negative 3. Right? Yes, correct. Okay. <laughs> Suddenly my brain hang. Ah, yo. So this one... <clears throat> If you manage to get the final working, you can write that down here. Kg, M, K negative 1, S negative 3. That will be one mark for final. Now this one, the other two marks are really, it could really come from anywhere. I think one comes from knowing what temperature is. And one comes from all the other units of L, A and T. So units L, A and T. All right, I think that's the end of question two. A good review of units and how to deal with them.